Welcome to another episode of the Coffee Consulting Show powered by the Emerging India Forum, TIF, and our tech partner, Prime Forex Solution. Today's team is from civil engineering to cybersecurity, securing the digital world series, the Emerging CyberSec. So, friends, we have with us a guest speaker, Srishti Ganguly, a seasoned security professional with over five years of experience as a SOC analyst and SEIM platform admin. Currently, Shristi is working as a security delivery analyst at Accenture. Shristi brings extensive knowledge as a cybersecurity professional, incident handling and security information and event management. Wow. So Shristi, welcome to this episode of the Emerging CyberSec and we have three uh, rounds professional, personal, and a rapid fire a surprise round. So you answer those questions funnily, wittily, and quickly. So you get to win this ebook, Is Your Organized Cyber Healthy? Authored by me, author of 12 ebooks, which will be delivered to your place autographed. So, uh, yeah, so, so thank you so much for you know inviting me here and uh, it is a great experience I'm like uh, I would be going through now. So it, uh, yeah, let's start. Let's start. Okay. So Shristi, my first question will be, uh, you started with civil engineering and now you have shifted your career to cyber security. So what uh, got you to change from civil engineering to a uh, cyber security and how has it the journey been uh, in cybersecurity related. Okay, so let's start with, you know, my uh, career in civil engineering. So I definitely went into that. Um, uh, but uh, while I was, you know, preparing for other government jobs and all, I got a chance into uh, uh, this IT, which I never wanted to be in first place. But yeah, I mean, as you say, like uh, destiny pulls you to a lot of things which you never thought of. So yeah, it, it started like that. So it I can quote it like this. Uh, it it was an arranged marriage, but now I am into love marriage. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I nice want to one. continue forever. <laughs> nice one, nice one, nice. You started the conversation on a uh, good note. Uh, so continuing. Uh, uh, what is a security delivery analyst job role and what are the activities uh, at Accenture in this capacity? Yeah, so currently what I am into, so uh, in cybersecurity also, there are multiple subdomains. Uh, it can be, you know, VAPT, it can be an uh, engineering team. So currently I'm into a SOC team. So uh, the uh, role which I am into, it defines like you have to go and uh, check the uh, tools, like whatever tools are set up for an organization. So those monitoring tools every day, you know, continuous monitoring is happening. So an analyst will go and check those tools. Uh, what are the anomalies, you know, reported as an alert. And then uh, we can uh, just, you know, do our, you know, what our role is starts over there. So we can uh, go and uh, check exactly it is the real attack or not. I mean, is it suspicious or not? So if uh, it is, then we will definitely send it back to the client. So because I am working right now in client facing uh, environment. So we will send it to client, get their con uh, confirmation. And if you know uh, they are confirming it's a real attack, then we will uh, you know guide them for next step and uh, uh, like th they will also have those teams uh, definitely who is managing those devices in the network so yeah we do have those kind of connect wow so Shishti, you have worked with various siem tools so how has the experience been and what latest developments has uh, happened in this uh, siem tools area okay so I would say, I mean, it, it's my personal experience first. Uh, 
like initially i uh, when i was working in infosys you know around 3 uh, years back so that point of time when i entered there was a tool which we were using so uh, that was you know uh, previous in previous few years it was in top gradually i saw that uh, you know the market took over with any other to- another tool which is uh, plunk and then you know uh, kindly uh, i mean I-, i could see that uh, you know the uh, needs when i started job search when i started you know looking into what market needs i saw that there there was a uh, kind of you know shift happened already i definitely worked with around uh, uh approximately 3 to 4 sim tools um and all of them are great in their areas and they are you know having a good competition with each other but uh i, I can say like you know as uh, you can see like any any person doesn't have their you know um career like uh, you know for 100 years or something uh, so they will rise and they will fall similarly with you know tools as well wow so shrishti uh being in the cyber security field any significant challenge uh you have faced during your uh career and how did you uh manage to overcome them and how did you take support of your seniors so basically the biggest challenge initially was that i was not from this domain at all i like i can be you know uh, i can quote very funny things here like i always tell my juniors also currently like uh, when i joined uh, infosys team so exactly after uh, freshers training and all so my uh, manager asked me you know few terminologies and i was like i don't know just think of him how he might have felt yes. but i am damn sure like i worked really really hard you know 200% to you know gain that skill so i would suggest everybody you know who is going through uh, i mean it's not in only this domain it's in any domain like if you even don't know don't be disheartened there there is a you know uh, we all are you know capable of learning any damn thing in the world so yeah this is my journey like i have you know uh, learned everything while working and um, i'm doing quite good wow so who who has influenced you from cyber security uh, domain subject experts uh, and uh, what has your interaction been with them see uh, from childhood itself we always knew that you know cyber security means ethical hacking i mean that's the common term even now itself also whoever is not linked they will know this only mm-hmm. so i was really interested that point of time just fascinated not interested it was i was fascinated by it but then when i got the chance i would say how i entered so the uh, while i was in training in infosys there was one team uh, internal team uh, they came and asked like we know you don't know anything you are freshers uh, we just need people here uh, who can you know um, you can just nominate and uh, we will take you and i was like oh this is the time i can work in this so i thought of you know uh, like kind of knowing it more uh because i had some fascination in it so uh, i definitely went for it and then gradually you know what kept me motivated is uh, like initially question everybody question like their decision but uh, even though i question i asked those question to my senior so they you know i uh, there was one senior every day uh, he kind of gave me uh, a different reason to be in this field and i was like okay but i still have doubts then i gradually you know after one year or two year i kept on knowing it knowing it more and it uh, kind of uh, i was like yeah this is it this is what maybe i am for wow so your uh what do you say uh 
your interest and your thinking by i don't know but i can learn and your your don't shy away by i am a fresher but i am ready to learn that this attitude of yours will take you to places in your career uh, that much i'm very uh, in my conversation you see to you uh, open and that openness uh, with your seniors and other team members has uh, made you come to actions and you will be going places because uh, for openness and learning helps you to achieve more and keep on adding value to everyone wherever you go at so 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 thank you so much uh now shishti what role does python and other programming languages play in a uh, security operations yeah so as you know as a fresher i just went through those training and there is also a uh, you know story like i since i was not from you know any such background of you know it or something then uh, everybody told me before entering infosys that uh, you know uh, it is very tough to sustain over this i was like no i can do this and i learned it you know in a way that uh, like i i i was in you know in a place where uh, so many people wanted like they didn't believe me that i was not from this domain mm-hmm. so later uh, i uh, like i always you know think it is an edge for me why because now being in cyber security i have uh, like lot of uh, scripts are there into the log which i analyze you know every day and there are so many things maybe it is related to sql injection it can be related to any other uh, script and i can read them better than others i mean i don't say this that uh, i am the best but i can understand them better so this is it uh, you know nothing learning anything never goes into vain so that's what i have learned wow so shifty uh, how do you stay updated with latest trends and threats happening in the cyber security domain so in my case personally like many people will say that uh, you know go through blogs go through podcasts go through that you can go and google it but believe me it is not possible you know go to uh, after work going to you know lot of things so uh, the best thing is make your uh, network so well that whoever in like you have a good friends in your you know domain and when you discuss at least discuss one small thing about it that keeps keeps you kind of into that zone and rest you will do yourself there is no need to panic and also being into soc we uh, go through you know advisories and all in our organization also so there are in case you know theoretical knowledge is needed one can go easily to internet internet is full of knowledge just that you have to choose the right site right websites and uh, right link that's it wow so many insights you have shared about transitioning from uh, civil engineering to cyber security and your work role sure uh, we all are able able to we work wants to venture into cyber security as a data security analyst and other uh, work roles you have shared many insights now let's come to personal run so shrishti uh you're coming from which your your hometown tell us something about your family and your formative growing years okay so uh i am from a bengali family uh, but not from bengal <laughs> so <laughs> yeah i mean uh, we are uh, like our forefathers migrated that can be said <laughs> yeah so uh by the way i've seen like people are not so conservative and my family is not conservative in that way uh, even being a girl uh, i have been given those kind of freedoms you know to do anything try any new thing even uh, like my mother has always you know put me into extracurricular things 
um and also like culture uh, for example uh, like what i can say uh like i was uh, given uh, i mean I, i was taken to a uh, uh, like music class art class and dance class all that you know i have to, i had to manage everything along with a good studies thing so this is how my family background is so apart from this i i i come from varanasi yeah i forgot to mention this that i come from varanasi uh which is a very known place holy place <laughs> uh yeah but uh i never knew like how the world is when i got to know how the world is is only the time when i got out of my city and that was when i was in college so i just i went to uh, kiit university uh, so i went there and then you know my actual struggle to adjust with the real world started very okay. interesting yeah so how was the time at uh, kiit some memorable experiences over there and what uh, extra curricular activities you took part in okay so by the way kiit is known for a lot of uh, cultural activities and uh, um, like placements and all that and i was fascinated by that as well so uh, yeah i'm really grateful that i got to meet such a uh, you know uh, diverse people there because uh, i could see 90% uh, from you know covering all over india it was not from only some places but it was covered covering all over india so i could meet you know i i made friends over there uh, who are still my friends uh, so someone from uh, like rajasthan someone from uh, like other parts uh, maybe west bengal or you know other parts of the uh, country so that was a very good time i would say uh, but i was mostly indulged into my studies because i had that goal of you know excelling and getting a good placement and all uh, but i also did you know took part in singing because i am into you know uh, like i i like music and you know i sing little bit so i uh, i took that you know initiative to go into you know uh, clubs where i mean that club means uh, that uh, cultural club so i went into that and i tried <laughs> though i couldn't succeed well but uh, i tried and i uh, focused more on my study okay. so now 50 uh, coming to infosys and share uh how do you unwind and what creative pursuits you have developed over the years besides singing okay so i have also been into poetry writing um, i have i had recently you know last year i had published a hindi poetry book uh, that was my dream to do from maybe 5 uh, to 8 years so i did it <laughs> last year wow. yeah and apart from that i like traveling and uh, really sorry yeah uh, so i do like traveling to a lot of places and um, i have traveled uh, quite a few places i would say like uh, himachal so many places i have went to you know especially after coming into accenture i started you know traveling more so i um, last travel would be i think it was uh, spiti valley uh, last year and uh, no actually i traveled meghalaya last i think uh, in this uh, april and that was my first solo trip uh, i never tried it i was you know very hesitant to go for solo trips but i you know uh, tried this time so yeah traveling is one thing which i will also try to go for more of that um yeah and apart from this i have also been into uh, like 
some other creative things as i mentioned you know my uh, upbringing was uh, into uh, like lot of creative things so i also liked you know uh, making diy things uh, so uh, currently i'm not i can't because there's a restriction of time but uh, i do prefer yeah okay so uh have you made any bucket list for 2024 and uh which is the top uh in your list which you want to complete in the six months uh may i ask like in what aspect bucket list like you want to like visit some place uh you make a bucket list okay, which you want to uh like you want to do some course so okay you could make your bucket list okay by I want to do this things five, ten, fifteen things they make, and accordingly, uh, from the time they complete uh, availability. Uh, so that is the bucket list. I got your point. Uh, generally, I do not have that kind of bucket list because uh, I do have things in my mind, but I'm not sure it will be completed in that year itself. So, for example, uh, from uh last year i wanted to go to rajasthan uh, mm-hmm. to travel to rajasthan but uh yet it has not been possible uh another thing was a job switch uh, so which is happening in some time <laughs> so yeah i mean recent times and um uh, yeah i mean lot of other things maybe uh, uh so one thing was like i'm into uh, currently you know from working from home and uh i wanted to improve my lifestyle so this time i am open for you know work from office and i'm going to meet a lot of people every day so that kind of environment i was missing and mm. i'm uh, looking ahead for that wow so sishti from your family who's the biggest supporter actually everybody is a uh, you know sub- supporter supporter i would say i mean in every way i mean they can whatever like for example mm, my sister is supporting me emotionally whenever i'm you know too low uh, she will come and she will you know uh, ask me what has happened she will you know try to uh, listen to me even if she can't give a uh, give an advice she will listen to me but uh, i think biggest support what i would say like i feel uh, it will be uh, from my mom so she has been like how i would explain in you know overall years i have been with her so she is a more risk taker than me i mean whenever i say okay is this good she will be like if you don't try it then how will you know <laughs> so mostly this is not expected from your parents but yeah i mean that way she has been that kind of person with me wow and my father is always like uh, uh he will be giving whatever he can so he will never be stopping me that is what you know i can find like my family is so much supportive i can say that's why where i'm today i am otherwise it wouldn't have been possible at all okay very good so shrishti which uh, book are you reading uh frankly i don't read much books okay. <laughs> but uh, uh, like i have read few um, like god gopal das book uh, hmm. so there were two books so one i completely finished uh the first part and then second uh i'm yet to complete it um uh, but i do watch you know a lot of other contents on internet okay and uh how are you inclined to music uh, and pursuing those things i am naturally inclined to it from childhood so i have heard from my mom that i have uh, i had that kind of interest in me to play a harmonium mm-hmm. that i 
yeah i was not uh, i was so small that i couldn't reach that level of harmonium but i used to stand and play it i was hard like that uh, but yeah i mean i am a person who doesn't like very much routine but my mom has been that kind of you know disciplined person to make me disciplined uh, but still i could uh, you know always find a way to escape so that is why i never liked uh, classical music but i always you know still i like uh, some uh, bollywood music i am more into bollywood yeah i mean mm-hmm. uh, whether it is movies whether it is songs or anything i am more into bollywood not hollywood uh, thing so yeah that's how and then i i think uh, people you know also helped me that no no you sing well so i continued doing that but i never thought of you know uh, uh getting into professional singing thing but i uh, thought like it can be my hobby for now so my last question shishti for you for your personal round describe uh shishti in one line uh okay <laughs> this is really tough okay. but yeah i mean uh yet can be uh creative as well as logical just okay so let's go to the rapid fire round python or java python tea or coffee coffee okay so let's <laughs> here's our our coffee yes. okay morning or night person morning oh favorite cyber security tool um if i am okay uh your favorite bollywood music song there is no one particular by the way <laughs> <laughs> uh but i do sing one song very uh, frequently if somebody asks me to uh so it will be like if you want i can sing also that's okay please please enjoy <laughs> enjoy this the coffee corner is about enjoying going memories and refreshing us <laughs> okay i will sing two to four lines okay uh, so... <laughs> So Shristi, last question. One thing you can't live without. Food. <laughs> Good. Okay. So you get to win this ebook. Is your okay and cyber relief, which will add value to your reading. Uh, Thank you so much. <laughs> so, uh, friends, we had a lovely conversation with Shristi Ganguly. She has multiple interests and. uh that attitude of hers of uh i am a fresher and i'm here to make my mark in the cyber security domain that's the attitude for anyone and there are a lot of things you get to learn for being a security delivery analyst and she has 
transitioned successfully from civil engineering to cyber security. Do watch this conversation, which will be available on the Coffee Corner Show. And you have uh, not only Shrishti's conversation, but there are various other subject experts available. And click the bell icon and look forward to having another conversation. So signing out, this is Dain Amir Virani, host at Coffee Conversation and a legal tech evangelist. So stay safe and look forward to another conversation.